The search for a two year old boy is still happening this morning. Josiah Mitchell was originally reported as being kidnapped, but police say that is not the case after all. Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer is live at the Elite at Lakeview Apartments in East Point, uh, where everybody's trying to piece this together. Different agencies are involved in this, Bridget. This is a search that spanned different counties and cities. Bring us up to speed. What's the latest? Megan, it really is puzzling. Uh, police have not told us what brought them uh, to this particular lake where they are draining uh, a lot of the water out. Uh, but that's what's happening right now. Crews with East Point have been out here all morning trying to get this lake drained uh, as part of the investigation. You can look over here to the right. And you can see the crews um, in those lime green shirts. Uh, they have been bringing in equipment and hoses just over the last couple of hours trying to get this fixed. They actually had to pause for a second uh, to get one of the the pumps back working and then they resumed draining the lake. They say it's going to take several hours. Uh, this could actually go all day. Now, just to recap on what brought us here, the boy, the two year old Josiah Mitchell, he disappeared on Wednesday night. His father, 23 year old Artavius North, told police that his son was kidnapped near an apartment complex in Decatur during an armed robbery. Police say, well, that actually did not happen. In fact, he was last seen at this complex with his dad. Uh, that's where this apartment complex comes into play. Police did charge him with making false statements and filing a false report. Meanwhile, the boy's grandfather and family, they were out here yesterday as uh, authorities started to drain this lake, and they're just hoping for the best outcome at this point. It's something that you don't want to feel. No, nobody want to feel the way I feel right now. I mean, just... Hug your, hug your family while you can, but you never know. Yeah, and uh, again, this may take uh, several hours to get all the water out this lake. They continue to bring equipment um, coming in and out. We've seen uh, city of East Point trucks kind of flowing in and out with equipment, trying to get this drained as quickly as possible. Of course, the family hoping for the best outcome. Of course, we're going to follow this story and update you as soon as we hear anything new. For now, we're live in East Point. Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First. Not only the community, uh, the family, but the community there and beyond who have been following this story for two days now, hoping for the best, Bridget. Thank you.